What is your Tinder horror story? Well, I've only gone on one Tinder date. We talked for a bit and I agreed to pick her up at Starbucks. She looked nothing like her pictures. But I thought I should be nice and at least hang out with her for a bit. We went to her place and the entire house reeked like cat pee. Like saturated. Then as she proceeded to show me her massive collection of animal tail butt plugs. She screamed at her chihuahua and smacked it right on the nose and without missing a beat just asks if I want to make out on the couch. I awkwardly sat down and pretended to look at my phone and made up that my grandma was dying so I could GTFO. Talked to him for two weeks before we went out and no red flags so we ended up going out to dinner. I said I hadn't been out in a while because I was trying to save money for a washer and dryer. He told me instead of saving for that I should save for a boob job. I didn't even know how to reply so he followed up with, No it's not a bad thing. My sister and mom both had small tits and got boob jobs and they look amazing. This is all before the waitress even brought our drinks. I just got up and left. Met up with a Tinder girl at Dave and Buster's. She brought me there for a ducking pyramid scheme sign up presentation. Guess I respect the hustle. First date. She wanted me to get into a bar fight with a perfectly friendly guy who'd bought us a round of shots that night. Why? Because she found out he was a Scorpio. He gave me my first kiss. I didn't hear from him for two days. On the third day he texted me that he had been arrested. Haven't heard from him since. Chatted with this girl for about two weeks. Every conversation went well and eventually I got her number and she started sharing nudes and speaking dirty. Late on evening after a stressful work day she talks me into driving an hour to come get coffee with her. She spends the next hour and a half non-stop talking about her ex and how she has to see him at the bank and all this personal upset ex-girlfriend stuff. She cuts me off anytime I try to speak or change the subject right back to him. A day later I get a text about how I didn't do any talking and I was too boring to be anything more than just friends with. She got irate when I pointed out she would not allow me to speak and only wanted to talk about her ex-boyfriend when we have never once had a slow or boring conversation before meeting up. This girl I matched with just messaged to troll me. I was like hey what's up and she was like don't talk to me unless you plan on ducking me with your 9 inch dick. I forgot what my reply was but she obviously never messaged back. Then a week later I'm getting McDonald's and this girl was the one who handed me my food. She recognizes me instantly and just had this total look of fear in her eyes. I walked out of there so quick. That poor girl thought I purposely sought her out to confront her or something. Met a guy. Decent conversation. Smart. Funny. Mutual nerdy hobbies. We decide to meet up at the local gamer bar and play some games while having our first date. Get in. Sit down. Dude has no teeth. Says a hack dentist told him they all had to be removed. Couldn't get dentures due to budget. Needed to wait for bone shards go fall out of his gums. Etc. Proceeded to spit all over our food while talking. Which granted. I knew he couldn't help. But if he can hide something this big from someone. What else could he be hiding? Plus I couldn't stomach the thought of making out with someone with no teeth. Found this really hot woman close by. Talked for a bit and went out for pizza then back to her place. A few weeks later I met her kid. Who absolutely adored me. Now we live together and have another child. Deleted Tinder. Never again. Not Tinder but match. Come and write in its infancy to a long time ago when it was just weirdos doing online dating. I matched and met up with a girl. She was way hotter than me. Like crazy hot. Way out of my league. The date was going super well and we'd even made out a bit. Couldn't believe my luck. We decided that as it was going so well we'd keep it going and headed to a bar. We were getting cozy in a corner when a group of African lads came into the bar. I live in a very homogeneous white country to the point that that would even be noteworthy especially at that time. She got up off where we were sitting and began shouting abuse at the lads who came and saying they didn't belong here and dropping the n-word several times. I felt like that moment in a horror movie where the camera sims in on your face and the background zooms out. I just got up and walked out. She tried to call me the next day to set up another date. I just ignored her. 
Clearly ducking nuts. Too good to be true in the truest sense. Not my story. But I knew a guy who had a Freudian slip, more dark side Kermit, bad enough that it ruined everything. I was told this by him after he got home and suffice to say he was like why the fuck did I say that? Date had been going well. And they were walking back to a bus station. They passed a creepy alley. And she said something to the effect of wow I would not like to go down that alley. To which he responded I imagine you are very rateable. Suffice to say. She ran for the hills and he was mortified. He very much was not a creepy person and had no clue why the hell he said that. Nor has he, to the extent of my knowledge, raped anyone. But Christ almighty do I agree with the girl's decision to run. Said she wanted to record us having sex so she could send it to her ex-husband. Over dinner she told me she enjoyed being hit and her favorite kind of sex was safe word rape. I deleted Tinder. I went to his place and we hooked up but after he goes so you wanna know what I'm really into? And I was like sure and then he grabs my foot. I have a really irrational fear of people touching my feet so I ran the hell out of there anyway I get to the living room on the way out and it turns out to be his parents house and I look at his mother and see she was my old therapist. This isn't actually my story. It's my mom's. After getting out of an incredibly long and unpleasant marriage. My mom joined Tinder. Stella wanted to get her groove back. And I was 100% on her team, I'm an adult. I can't emphasize enough. She was not looking for a long-term connection. Her work sent her out of state for a while. And everything seemed perfect. She's going to get her rando D and there's no chance of it getting serious. She's sending me screenshots of the guys she's considering. I'm giving her tips on safety. And then she picks a guy. I immediately tell her that he is not a wise choice. This guy's profile is 98% red flags by volume. Whatever. She's an adult. I literally cannot stop her. Somehow in the 4 hours they are physically together he figures out which flight she's taking the next day. He used that to find her final destination. And somehow even finds her home address. He uses the public tax information to find her full name. And from there hunts down her Facebook. And finds my dad. Calls him on the phone. And dishes E-V-E-R-Y-T-H-I-N-G. Sends him pictures and screenshots of convos. Then he starts sending my mom harassing messages that he loves her but that he can trust her. Ultimately my mom had to call the police. EDA. Oh. Wow. My first silver. Thank you. I went on a Tinder date a couple months ago on a Sunday afternoon. Met up with a guy around 3. He had a really good energy and was funny and complimentary. The place we wanted to go had a long line. So we went to another restaurant on the water for a drink and appetizers. He started slamming down my ties. I had one. He had three. They were strong. Like. I was tipsy borderline drunk off of one. The bar had a two my tie per person limit. But he found another bartender to get his third. He got drunker and drunker and started telling me he loved me. Joking at first but getting increasingly serious. As we left he asked me to marry him. I kind of laughed it off. And was like maybe we take it slow. We just met each other. He got so mad he stormed off and left me on a street corner. Then as soon as he got home, it was 5 p.m. He started texting me come over. And I miss you. He was 43. WTF. It ended up being a double date with his mom and her OK Cupid date. He told me that he and his mom were a package deal. I was mortified and there was no second date. There's a few but the first that comes to mind. Met this really cute girl on Tinder. She was really cool and we got along pretty well. I forget how our first date went but after hanging out a few times I went over to her place and we hooked up. It was pretty great except that I forgot in her bio that she was fluent in German. And so mid coitus this very cute blonde is shouting in German. Which no offense to the Germans isn't exactly the sexiest language in the book. It was so unexpected and I was terrified. Another time we went to grab a drink at a bar and she obviously knew the bartender and we were all chatting it up. She was hanging on me and we had some PDA going on. After the bartender left I asked how she knew him. And she told me that he was her ex-husband. 
I was a bit shocked because we were all 20 somethings. When she went to the bathroom he leaned over and asked me how I took to the German in bed and I still a bit shocked said it's alright he winked at me and she came back. Weird girl. Nice guy. Comped our drinks and he still remembers me when I go in for a beer.